Hey guys, it's Chet Donna from Donath Outdoors. Between me and my wife, we have six children, okay? So we have a lot of kids in our house. And one of the things that, you know, I have tried to do as a father and as a stepfather is to try to expose my kids to the outdoors as much as possible. To try to inspire them and to just motivate them. I came up with a list of books that I have watched my children read. And they're all fairly popular books. And several of them are classics. Read them when I was a kid. All right, so the first one that I'm going to go over is Hatchet. So Hatchet was one of those that was a required reading when I was in school and I'm glad it was because it actually inspired a lot of my interest in survival and just basically kind of like the human nature of being out in the woods. It's about a kid, he basically survives out in the wild, it has a lot of really cool stories and it, what I really like about it is it goes over you know sort of like the mental part of survival and for a kid's book, I think that's really neat. It's really intriguing. Um, you know, like I said, as a boy, it really motivated me to get outside. I've, I've read this to my boys, and I've also had them read it. And it is now required reading, so they've, ar they've already, this is, will be the third time that they're going through it. Um, but it, it is really inspiring. It is really motivating. It's really cool to see, you know, a, a child who is basically lost in the woods, trying to survive. Gary Polson's an incredible author. He has a whole bunch of kids' books. You know, I'll just show you a few. Brian's Return, Brian's Hunt, and The River. So I may be missing one in that series, but anything you pick up by Gary Polson, he writes a ton of books, and a lot of them have to do with the outdoors. Every book that I've read by Gary Polson is really good. Uh, Dog Song, uh, Wood Song, um, the, I'm, I know I'm missing a bunch, but if you look up Gary Polson, you're going to have most of his popular books come up and you'll be able to check that out. But I would definitely start with Hatchet. Alright, the next one that I'm going to go over is <clears throat> Mark Twain. I can't leave out Mark Twain. I grew up uh, in, a, in a small town right next to Hannibal, Missouri, which of course is famous for Samuel Clemens or Mark Twain. And so I have to bring up that author. It was He was... Uh, really pushed on us when we were growing up because you know we're from that area but also he's a he's a great author he's a great speaker and he was just a uh, you know important person in history and so I'm not a, I'm not gonna go too in depth on these because most people know the adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn you know both of these books you know they have all this you know excitement and outdoors and uh, you know, he's rafting on a river, just doing all this adventurous stuff outside. You know, when I was a kid reading this stuff, I just really enjoyed it. It made me want to go outside. Um, I will say, as a caveat, there are some uh, words that are used in this book, in the classic uh, book, that, you know, we now know are, um, they were appropriate for that time, but they're not so appropriate nowadays. So just be mindful of that, and um, probably good to let your young reader know that he's going to see, he or she is going to see those type of words. Um, but just be mature about it and understand, you know, explain to them that that was acceptable back then. It's not now. And, you know, I think if you can look past that, these classics here are really inspiring and really cool outdoor books that were are going to stand the test of time. The next two books I want to go over are, uh, I'm going to put them in the same genre, although they're not, they're not the same book. They're not written by the same person, but uh, Survivor Kid, an ultimate survival guide for kids. When I was growing up, I found a yard sale that was selling a couple of old army survival manuals. I literally picked that army survival guide up and I read it from cover to cover. You know, I was probably maybe 11 or 12 years old at the time, and it just blew my mind. All these credible things that you can do in the wild and make in the wild. Not many 11 or 12 year olds are going to probably want to go through an old army survival manual you know, at that age, at that young of an age. <clears throat> I picked these two books because I think they're survival manuals that are written oriented for younger readers. And so I think you'll have better luck uh, putting these in their hands rather than something, you know, uh, from the past. These are so interesting. Um, my boys especially have really enjoyed this, but I think boys and girls would enjoy, you know, any kind of survival book written for kids. You know, these two I know are very good, and I'm sure there's a ton of others that are good as well. It really gets their gears going, and they just really start thinking about the world around them, and start thinking more of the outdoors as, uh, you know, something that we were born into and able to flourish in, 
rather than you know be afraid of you know and having just these this little bit of knowledge will give and instill confidence in young men and women you know, hopefully they won't be as scared of the woods or of going outdoors and camping etc and to know all these little tricks and stuff they'll feel so much more confidence going out there the next book on the list is hunger games by suzanne collins now this book i did not really pick for um the fact that it's a like super outdoorsy book it's not a traditional outdoors book it's kind of like a, a end of times you know the world's kind of gone to heck it's not your typical outdoor book that's going to be in this list but i picked it while i think boys and girls will enjoy this it's really uh it's really sparked the hearts of many young women to try archery and to get interested in archery and for that reason if you have a young uh, daughter or a young boy I think they would really enjoy this and I think it would really get them at least interested in archery which is something that you can do for your entire life uh, it's an incredible sport it's an awesome sport and you're never gonna be perfect at it and for that reason I think it's a really great skill to develop in a young person I think uh, young men would enjoy this as well I haven't gotten my boys to read it yet I think they if they would just uh, have an open mind they would read that and I think they would really enjoy that the next book I have is The Boy's Book of Adventure. There is also a book that's called, of course, The Girl's Book of Adventure. They are both awesome books. They both have a whole bunch of different skills and outdoor activities. There's crafts, projects, just all kinds of stuff um, to really get a child's imagination going. There's uh, how to tie knots, make a periscope, read a map, all kinds of different skills that kids are gonna gain from this book to use in their outdoor adventures. It's really outdoor oriented. It's one that, you know, they don't have to just necessarily read, but maybe look through, find an activity they like, get outside and enjoy that activity and learn a new skill. This is by Barron's Books, and it says at the top here, outdoor activities and fun to do craft projects. If you have, you know, a young kid or a young uh, granddaughter or just somebody that you know that has kids, and you want to get them something for their birthday or something like that, this is a great book to do that. My boys have both looked at it and read it. I got it for my stepdaughter and she's really loved it, enjoyed it, and done a lot of the activities in there. Highly recommend it. So the last book that I'm going to talk about in this video, My Side of the Mountain. And there's several of these. There's Frightful's Mountain. I think there's the other side of the mountain. These are all books by Gene Craighead George, and hopefully I pronounced that right, but if I didn't, you can correct me in the comments. But um, this is another classic. It was a required reading uh, when I was in school, and I think we watched the movie. I think there's a movie about it, pretty sure. Of course, like anything, the book is gonna be better than the movie. I highly recommend the book. You know, if you wanna research and find the movie afterwards, that's great. These are awesome books. Funny little story about this is Okay, so this kid, he ran away from home, and he's trying to look for a place where he can live and survive in the woods. So he starts a fire next to a, an enormous tree, and he burns out the inside. And so it's basically like a tree cave type of thing. Well, when I was probably old enough to know better, I actually started a fire next to a tree in my parents' yard where I grew up. I thought I couldn't get the fire started. You know, it burned for a little while and then it went out. But apparently a coal had caught the bark and it ended up burning a hole inside of this tree. He ended up having to cut it down and uh, my dad is, uh, you know, one of those people who can, he had just has excellent control of his emotions. We could all probably learn something from him, especially me, but he never acted like he was mad, but I know that he was probably steaming inside. I know I would be irate if my kid had burned a nice big oak tree in my yard up. Um, but yeah, that's a funny little story. Make sure you explain to your kid that's probably not a good idea. Most kids probably are not as dumb as I was when I was a kid. Anyway, this book is really just a well-written book. It's a classic. It's awesome. I read it when I was in school. Kids should read it nowadays. If they don't, I highly recommend getting this. Um, any book in this series is really good too. All right guys, so there was some books for you to get your daughter or son, granddaughter or grandson, niece, nephew, uh, friends, little kid, whatever it might be. Getting children inspired to go outside and be outdoors and do things outdoors is gonna set them up for a lifetime of awesome skills and there's been numerous studies done that people that enjoy nature, um, it's therapeutic. It, it makes people happier. These case studies to back that up. So getting kids involved in the outdoors, I think is just crucial, you know, especially during this time, you know, where just, it's just a crazy world out there. And I think 
people need to be outside more. I think people need to get their kids out in nature. You know, so go take your kids out in nature. Go get your kids out on a hike. Uh, get them books that are going to inspire and motivate them to want to do that and to experience those things and to develop their outdoor skills. Just make sure that they don't start any fires next to big oaks. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and you got something from it, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you love the outdoors because that's what my channel is all about, is experiencing the outdoors with my kids doing all kinds of stuff outside. So anyway, take care for now and I will see you next time.